Somalia is experiencing severe drought. Since 2021, there's been a 60% reduction in annual rainfall, leading to five consecutive failed harvests. Drought, together with increased fuel prices due to the war in Ukraine, is having a huge impact on the country's small-scale farmers. While fuel prices have dipped slightly in the past few months, they've almost doubled since January 2021, more so in some rural areas. Mohammed Ahmed Ismail has a small farm in the Nasib region. He needs to buy fuel to pump water and run farm equipment. In nearby Rababal village, farmer Lul Mohammed has had similar problems. Lower productivity on small-scale farms like this one has led to severe food shortages. More than 7 million people in Somalia now face acute food insecurity. So supporting small-scale farmers in Somalia is not crucial. I think it's inevitable for um, an organization like IFAD to address the devastating impacts of recent events. This means ensuring food security for the vulnerable populations, but also enhancing their adaptive capacity and resilience, which is equally important, enabling them to withstand the shocks and maintaining sustainable livelihoods. A project that addresses food security was established by IFAD and the government of Somalia with additional funding from Italy and the Netherlands. By funding green technology that runs on natural resources like the sun, farmers can reduce their dependence on fluctuating fuel prices, adapt to climate change and other economic shocks. Alhamdulillah, mashallah, manta martin sorg bar isiye bamba alkali ibiliy. This means Lul is no longer reliant on paying for expensive fuel, and she can access water reserves when it doesn't rain. Lul has doubled her productivity since the pumps have been installed, growing enough vegetables to feed her family and to sell to the local community at an affordable price. IFAD will soon launch more programs in the country to help this fragile economy and the small-scale farmers who live and work here. We are currently developing two new projects focusing on areas such as land restoration, biodiversity conservation, climate resilience, and sustainable natural resource management, which is extremely important in the context of Somalia. The new projects will leverage partner co-financing of up to $7 for every $1 invested by EFAT. This will improve the productivity and livelihoods of around 432,000 vulnerable households giving them the tools and technology they need to prosper while providing food security for the millions of people in the country who so desperately need it.